Praise the Lord. Hallelujah and glory to the name of the Most High God. Jesus Christ is coming soon and we need to be prepared at all times. When He comes, He will look for those people who is trusting in His name and who is serving uh, in the kingdom of God here on earth. Now, I would like to uh, give glory to the Lord for giving me and uh, Brother Arthur today of opportunity to share the gospel to you wherever you are right now. And also, would like to thank God for Dr. Joseph Nasaralia, the founder and the, um, the CEO of this uh, beautiful studio here in uh, Duarte, California. This is The Cross TV. And uh, we are so glad to be part of this uh, studio to declare and proclaim the good news of salvation and also healing to you by the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Now, this time, my brothers and sisters, I would like to share to you about the things that are happening today and which is the current events today. Uh, uh, it is totally and directly uh, related to the scriptures and what we call them the prophecy about the end times. Now, this time, my brother and sisters, I would like to request uh, uh, our brother Arthur to read to us the first Timothy, second Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Go ahead, brother Arthur. You should know this, Timothy, that in the last days there will be very difficult times. For people will love only themselves and their money. They will be boastful and proud scoffing at God, disobedient to their parents, and ungrateful. They will consider nothing sacred. They will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. They will betray their friends, be reckless, be fucked with pride and love, and love pleasure rather than God. They will act religious, but they will reject the power that could make them godly. Stay away from people like that. Praise the Lord. That is the command from St. Paul. St. Paul uh, is our apostle. He is the apostle for the Gentiles. The Gentiles are those people who are non-Jewish people. So if you, are, if you do not have the blood or if you are not a descendant of a Jewish person, then you are a Gentile. So St. Paul is our apostle. So Jesus Christ had ministered to him directly. And uh, he said that in the last days, that there will be a perilous times, not only in the government, not only in our surrounding, but within the family of each people here on earth. And uh, one of those signs that four men will be the lovers of themselves. And uh, they will be the lovers of money. And they will be boasters, proud, blasphemers, and disobedient to parents. Now, if you see those kind of signs in your family, in your uh, environment, in your, in your community, it is because we are living in this perilous time. This is one of the obvious signs that has been going on for, for the past uh, uh, 10 or, or, or 20 decades. When I was in a little kid back in the Philippines, the, the culture back in the Philippines, the moral value is so high. And we are not allowed to uh, pick anything that does not belong to us. When we, were, when we were in the elementary school, when the moment that we saw a, a quarter, we don't put that in our pocket. We give it back to uh, the faculty in, the, in, in, our, in our classroom, in our teacher, so that these children who have lost that quarter might be redeemed again. Now, now there are so many people now, they don't care about other people. They are boasters according to the scriptures and there are so many people who are uh, taking advantage of the weakness of many people. 
and, they, and also says that there will be people who are unthankful to others or to the Lord. They are unholy, unloving, unforgiving slanderers without self-control. And the reason why many nations today are quarreling uh, each other, it is because they do not have a self-control. And another thing, my brothers and sisters, in verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying its power. Now, there are so, so, so many people today that we can encounter in a daily basis that the people, they, we thought that they are a holy and uh, they are a follower of the truth, but behind, be, be, behind, uh, behind their, their brain, they are thinking of evil and they are trying to uh, sneak in and, uh, dis, uh, and, and take advantage of those who are weak and those who are poor. Now, another scriptures is on Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. Uh, I'm sorry, Daniel chapter 9, verse 24. Because in Daniel chapter 9, uh, he, he prophesied, when is this the last days is going to come? Now, there is a specific period of time that must, that must happen so that we may be able to identify what period of time in the history of the world that Jesus Christ is coming back again. Can you please read to us Daniel chapter 9 verse 24? A period of 70 sets of seven has been decreed for your people and your holy city to finish their rebellion to put an end to their sin, to atone for their guilt, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to confirm the prophetic vision, and to anoint the most holy place. Can you continue that into 26? Now Wait. listen and understand. Seven sets of seven plus 62 sets of seven will pass from the time the command is given to re rebuild Jerusalem until a ruler, the, you know, the anointed one comes. Jerusalem will be built with streets and strong defenses despite the perilous times. After this period of 62 sets of seven, the anointed one, the anointed one will be killed, appearing to have accomplished nothing. And a ruler will arise whose armies will destroy the city and the temple. The end will come with a flood and war, and its miseries are decreed from, the ta from that time to the very end. That's right. Now, let me explain a little bit about this Daniel chapter 9, verse 24 through 27. <clears throat> According to Daniel, because it was revealed by angel to Daniel, he said that, that God is giving the Israelites a 70 weeks. Now, that 70 weeks, if we go deeper understanding about 70 weeks, uh, one day of that each every week is equivalent to one year, according to this current, uh, to this event that had happened during the time of uh, Daniel. So, the 62 plus 7 is what we call the 69th weeks in which the temple was built in the Old Testament. Now, after the 62, 7, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Jesus Christ uh, would, be, uh, would be killed, but not for himself, but for the sin of many people. And that happened in that specific period of time. 2,000 years ago. So, now after this 62 sevens, uh, because, and then plus the, the other seven, so there is only one week that is left being, uh, uh, be, will be fulfilled in the future. It is like God po push the uh, post button on your, on your player so that the grace of God would uh, be poured down here on earth to give another chance to the humanity to repent and to come to the Lord. So when the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross, 
there is what we call a per grace period of God. Almost or a little bit more than 2,000 years now that Jesus Christ is now, Jesus Christ is being seated in the right hand of God and is still intervening with us, <coughs> is standing between God and man and, uh, and, uh, and the Holy Spirit are convicting us and guiding us into Jesus Christ to believe in His name. Those are a little more than 2,000 years. And now in our current, current situation today, Jesus Christ says in the Matthew chapter 24, He was... Uh, he was uh, as by the disciples, Lord, where or when are you coming back again? Or when is the, uh, the end of times or end of the world? And the Lord Jesus Christ says that uh, there will be first wars and rumors of wars. Now, today as we speak, there are tens or twenties or hundreds of wars going on today. And there are war in, uh, in, in, in Ukraine and Russia. There are wars now between Israel and uh, Palestine, Israel uh, and Iran and also other nations. But there are also rumors of wars as well. And Jesus Christ says there will be wars and rumors of wars. And before the Lord Jesus Christ comes back, there will be earthquakes that would be happening around uh, the continent of this world. And we have heard a lot of earthquakes had happened just one uh, a year ago in 2023. There are many earthquakes in Turkey and also in China, in Japan, and other areas as well that many buildings have collapsed and many people have died. It is because of these earthquakes. Now, Jesus Christ says also that there will be famine and there will be and there are famine going on and the magnitude of, um, of the famine because people do not have enough food to eat. Uh, there are also people dying because of this famine. And not only that, after famine, there will be pestilence. And we know that COVID-19, that is the most popular uh, plagues that had happened here on earth. Just recently, 2020, 2021, 2022, the, the COVID-19 has killed thousands, hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Not only that, my brothers and sisters, there are also many uh, plagues that is going on around the world that is not being uh, uh, told in our uh, media. Now, another thing, my brothers and sisters, that uh, the people that is living around today are they have that is they have that uh, uh, nature of being godly, but uh, but in reality they are not, and very deceptive. And uh, Jesus Christ says that there will be many uh, uh, religious people who would claim that they are Jesus and they are the Messiah. So these things are now happening, my brothers and sisters. And I would like to encourage you that when, uh, when you find yourself that you need the Lord Jesus Christ, then come right away to Jesus and repent of your sin. <clears throat> And find a church that you may uh, be in, get involved and grow into the knowledge and also in the wisdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, you have to understand this, my brothers and sisters, that what is going on around the world has been prophesied more than 2,000 years ago and it is now being fulfilled right in front of our own eyes. Now, one of the one of the prophecy is co is mentioned in <clears throat> Daniel chapter twelve, and I would like Brother Arthur to read to us Daniel chapter twelve, verses. Let's start with verse one through uh, verse four. At that time, Michael the archangel, who stands guard over your nation, will arise. Then there will be a time of anguish greater than any since nations first came into existence. But at that time, every one of your people whose name 
is written in the book will be rescued. Many of those whose bodies lie dead and buried will rise up, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting disgrace. Those who are wise will shine as bright as the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness will shine like the stars forever. But you, Daniel, keep this prophecy a secret. Seal up the book until the time of the end, when many will rush here and there, and knowledge will increase. Praise the Lord. Now, according to the angel, that the, the uh, angel, I think it is the angel uh, Gabriel, that he told Daniel that in the last days, that there will be a explosion of knowledge and wisdom. And um, during back then, to, let's say back in the time of Daniel, the, uh, the form of, um, of transportation is just a camel and a horses. And uh, it is very slow compared to the cars that we have today. And uh, Daniel was told in the last days there will be people who are, uh, who are running through and for. And uh, that means to say that they would be, the, 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 they would be speeding up uh, from one point to another point. Unlike during the time of Daniel, horses are just running 10 miles or the most is 15 miles per hour. Now cars could run up to 100 miles. A regular, um, an ordinary speed of the cars today in our country here in the United States is 65 miles limit on the freeway. And also on the side street is the 35 miles. It's much faster than a regular horse. So uh, we have a jet that could fly uh, faster than the faster than the speed of sound and the speed of light. So that prophecy is now fulfilled in our generation. Is Jesus Christ coming back again? I'm sure he is. And uh, he would be coming soon, soon, and sooner than we think. Could be, it, he, he, could, he could come anytime, any moment. Now, li listen, my brothers and sisters, according to, G to Daniel, that on the time that the Lord Jesus Christ comes back again, there are many people who have sleep, that means to say who died in Christ, they would rise up, they would be resurrected to be glorified by the Lord Himself. And they would, uh, and they would be like stars <laughs> in heaven. So we don't know exactly what it means, but I'm sure that you would be a like a shining light to those people who are who are needing of uh, of salvation. Because someday, when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back, those who died in Christ will rise first, and those who are still alive will be will be will be caught up in the air called the rapture of the church and we will receive the glorified body uh, how does uh, this glorified body looks like it could be shining right it could be shining now now you you have to understand my brothers and sisters the glorified body is not exactly the same as the physical that we have today now during the time of the resurrection of the of those uh, of those who died in Christ, those spirit and soul they would be given that glorified body, and that glorified body is no longer corruptible. And uh, according to the scriptures, that this glorified body uh, uh, will be converted or will be transformed from incorruptible, uh, from corruptible to incorruptible. And it will no longer experience any decay. Now, you have to also understand, my brothers and sisters, that this prophecy would happen cert with certainty because Jesus Christ had said so. Because the Bible had said so. Now, let's go back again to the uh, timetable that I have introduced to you uh, a little bit uh, earlier. Um, there is a... Um, uh, seven, uh, seven years tribulation, and before the seven years tribulation, there is what we call the grace period. The grace period 
is where the Lord Jesus Christ uh, given to us His Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit will remind us of the law and the instruction of God. And this law and the instruction of God is no longer written in stones, but now written in our own hearts. And our hearts now is the temple of the Holy Spirit of God. For those who receive Him as their Lord and personal Savior, the Holy Spirit will indwell in their bodies and would remind us of the Word of God. Now, the, 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 that period is called grace period because we are no longer bound to obey those um, laws that uh, Moses has implemented. There are two kinds of laws. There is a moral law and also this is um, a ceremonial law. Uh, this ceremonial law is no longer no longer uh, uh, effective in this time of uh, in this period of time because Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of this ceremonial law the moral law is still in effect today in our hearts and that is written in our hearts thou shalt not kill thou shalt not lie and um, uh, thou shalt not covet uh, of your neighbor's things those are moral law and that is printed in our own hearts and that is why we have this conviction now the in the grace period we could just come to the lord lord forgive me of my sin and i admit that i am a sinner i failed uh, to fulfill your law in in my in my life and the lord jesus christ has promised that those who receive him he gave them uh, uh, the eternal life and they would not be punished and they would be uh, they would be like a children of God. By grace you have been saved through faith in Christ Jesus. After that, to, after that grace period, there is what we call the seven years tribulation. The seven years tribulation is a dark period in which the Antichrist would appear and become a ruler over here on earth. And uh, many disasters and plagues and, uh, and uh, uh, killing and all kinds of crimes would be, would be happening in the period of seven years. And then after seven years, Jesus Christ will come back again to remove the power of the devil, to remove this throne of the Antichrist, and he will set up his millennial kingdom here on earth. And that is what we're going to study next Monday. And I would like you to, uh, I would like you to stay, um, uh, to, to, uh, to come back again in this, is, in this uh, is studio in, uh, in, uh, in Across TV. Mm -hmm. And I will, uh, we, would we would like to give you this information from the scriptures about the millennial kingdom. I wish I could go in details, but because of the constraint of our time, uh, we are limited to 30 minutes. And now this time, my brothers and sisters, I would like to encourage you to be faithful in the Lord while we are still waiting for Him. And um, uh, pray and always be watchful of the current events that is going on around us because those are the messages to us today that these scriptures are being fulfilled in our time. Now, I encourage you to repent of your sin, to acknowledge you are a sinner, accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord, and uh, declare with your mouth that He is your Lord. He is the one who died on the cross. And he was risen from the dead by the power of God Almighty. And the same power that has risen Jesus Christ from the dead is the power that is in us today. By the power of the blood of Jesus, by the power of the death and the resurrection of Christ, we are living today and expecting that Jesus Christ is coming in our time. So this time, I encourage you to pray with me. If you have not received the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, uh, pray this after me. Can you please say, Lord, I ask you, I ask you to forgive of my sin. 
forgive of my sin. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. I have failed your command and your laws. I have failed your command and your laws. And I am hopeless. And I am hopeless. Now I heard about Jesus. Now I heard about Jesus. That he came to fulfill the law. And he came to fulfill the for law. For us. For us. And he came to die on the cross. And he came to die on the cross. So that our sin will be washed away. So that our sin will be washed away. And he is the Lord of Lords. And he is the Lord And he of is the King of Kings. He is the King of who Kings. Who is coming back soon He's again. Coming back soon again. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. And I now dedicate my life to you. And I now to, dedicate for the rest to you. of this life. The rest of this in life. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you, my brothers and sisters. May the blessing be upon you always. Amen.